I'm going big time. Like, I'm just no, mazal tov, mazal tov, mazal tov, mishpat shababo, yoshu and atara, yikarim, bezad Hashem, shil hakadosh baruch hu, bezad Hashem, yeshkin shalom bebetchem, yishra shchina bebetchem, zion inachat and happiness, to continue this love and prosperity, bezad Hashem, all during your life, bezad Hashem. Amen. No, this is three mountains are very, very dangerous. Three mountains. Which one? Harei Ha'aravat. We just read about Harei Ha'aravat, the biggest mountain. Harei Ha'imelaya, right? The biggest mountain. And Harei Ha'imelaya. Of, of, of uh, keeping himself, of 
keeping kashrut. Doesn't matter where you go, it doesn't matter if you're hungry. You have a principle. No, I have ikaron in my life that I'm not going above it, right? This is what can make me hold myself in an obstacle way. But, the, but what, what is the reason that Hashem built inside of us that we want to get married? You know what the Naharal Kadosh said? Listen to that. He said, since a person get born in the first day, since he left the stomach of her, of his mother, he's waiting for this moment to go back to the same feeling that he used to have for the nine months of pregnancy. What is that? Iyob said, We always seeking for this moment to go back to feel the same love and warmth and safety that we used to have in these nine months in, in our mother's stomach. And as long as we don't have this safety and love, not just love that somebody loves you, love unconditionally. That's why we're desperate to get married. That's why we're looking for someone that can, can, can hold me, someone that can love me as I am. It doesn't matter if I, if I have a, a couple pounds like that, if I'm, whatever I look like, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone to love me. Love me as I am, whatever. With my problems, with my uh, craziness. That we're all looking for. Well, what's the problem that we're all looking for? Since we get out, so you see the baby, he's always connected to his mother, connected, he might start to cry. And then he find out when he got another brother, find out, oh, my mom's not loving me like I'm the special one. I have conditions only when I'm behaving nice. And he starts to cry, to, 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 to be jealous. And he's just to fight to his uh, new baby. You know, you, you remember that? You know, on the floor. He doesn't understand what he said. He pushed him away. He's in the middle of eating, right? And he pushed him away. The, the other one, why? All the time, then we grow up, kindergarten, school, and whatever, and then grow up. You always push away. Boy. And you're looking for this one, and you're not aware of that. You're not aware in your subconscious mind that you're looking for someone to love you, whatever you are, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever you, you as you, without any judgment, without any 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 criticism, without any word, and this is the reason that that in subconscious mind that we get married. That's why a person is not married is not Adam. He's a half a person. That we always not satisfied inside, because all the time people judge you. All the time people tell you what. What's wrong with you, right? We're all tired of that. But when we get married, we think that we got to the point. Oh, now I have my wife. She loved me. And she loved me. <laughs> After one month, come up, I get a come out of pocket. <laughs> right? Shoot. <laughs> you know this couple, this couple that his wife. <laughs> start to fight with them, start to yell at them, and she took the shoes and she ran after him, right? So the husband was so scared, he hid under the, the bed. And she said, I want to see if you get out. He said, I'm a girl of a wife, I need to leave my dad. Right? So, <laughs> so we all. And then. <laughs> She have it, not a peaceful mind. 
And there is a three things that the woman needs to be aware of the husband that not to do it. What is the three things that the woman is supposed to, to be careful? It's three C's. C's. C, the first one, is to be controlled. A woman that she control on her husband, forget about it. Your husband is going to run away. I'm going to talk to you. He's going to be you know, offended. Right? All the time. That's what the Gemara says and says the women will get him with it. Three people, Chayim and Am Chayim. It's no life. You have no life. You have three things. If you control, by the way, yeah. You know those things, This is the first C. The second C, what is that? Criticize. If you criticize, you understand? It's like a boy who's about to <laughs> and if you say, well, you're not listening to me, I'll listen to you for 45 minutes. What do you want? Why not? You don't understand me. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> criticize. Oh. As long as you're not criticize your husband, it's going to be fine. Right? What is that? What is that? This is live. It's going to make sure. What? <laughs> recorded. Yeah, it's all recorded. I don't always want to, but it's all recorded. So we have control, criticize, and what is the, 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 the third one? What is the third one? Oh, and close. Close. When a woman, she's not talking, this is making her husband going crazy. Say, what's going on with you? What's going on? I'm from the baby. Why are you not talking? Why are you not sharing? Why are you not telling me what's going on with you? Why are you hiding? Tell me. Share with me. Right? If you're not talking, you're going crazy. You need to be open to each other. To feel like you're connecting. That we are doing a salichad. Which means that we are not two people. <coughs> I said to someone, someone came to me last week. I said, Rabbi, I'm thinking to get divorced. I said, divorce? You already divorced. I said, what do you mean? I'm married to them yet. But you're not married. You got married, but you're not married. I said, what do you mean? What do you mean? You live in your own world. She lives in your own world. You live in, uh, by coincidence, in the same house. You're not sharing your life together. You're doing whatever you want. You don't care what you want. And she don't care what you want. You want to get divorced? You're already divorced. You should continue like that. Right? So what is the... The three things that the husband needs to make sure, this is three aunts. When a woman feel unsafe or unseen or ununderstood, she's going crazy. When a woman, she feels that unseen, which means that you ignore her, you don't see her, you don't feel her, you don't see what she's feeling, you don't care, you don't ask, you don't listen to her. So that's she's saying and she, she would like to, a woman, she's, she's always wants to share with you. Why she tell you, I went to the back, I went to bed, and you told me that, I don't like this, and I talked to her, who cares what you do? Tell me, bottom line, what do you want? Bottom line, how was your day? Okay, yada. Right? But she wants to share with you. When she telling you that she went to the bank, she's feeling that you were with her into the bank. Right? You will, it's all about uh, to, uh, feeling that, that togetherness, right? But we don't have to be passionate. We need to be a little bit more passionate, more patient to, to listen. But this is unseen or understood or unsafe. When a man goes everywhere, do you ever feel unsafe? No, I don't know. I the bed, right? But the woman, she always scared, always make sure that she's okay. And that's why when we all have a common goal, we all share it together, bring our life in, 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 in this environment, in this approach, for me to take care of my wife, to take care of me, to share this goal, this is all a different game. We're all a different game, we see the Shekhinah in, in our life. Because after, in the beginning of the marriage, we have things that call in Hebrew dopamine. You know what dopamine? You have dopamine in your hand. Dopamine make you make you to 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 think just 
so you're right in your mind. You see only the beauty. You don't see anything wrong. The dopamine remain between one year to three years. It depends. But after that, the dopamine goes and then pop up, everything pops up. Right? Dopamine, Google it. So if you see, that's why in the beginning, ah, oh, how did you see it? Oh, I was not aware of that. You're not aware because you blind, right? So that's why we, Hashem gave us the opportunity to fulfill ourselves, to fulfill complete, complete and to, without Hashem, to build our life, without Hashem, the web, the Torah, the way of, without Hashem, to bring children, and I can also hope that Hashem will bring the Shekhinah, and we'll be happy, and we'll be fine, and Hashem will be semachot, and all of you guys, and Hashem will be fine. Amen. Zaku ba'o. Zaku ba'o. Zaku ba'o. Zeman tov, mazal tov, mazal tov, zeman tov, zeman tov, mazal tov. Simantov, Mazatov, Mazatov, Simantov, Yelano.